This is my internal battery charging mod for the Jumper T16. I've got it running off one of the power supplies right now because my uh, barrel charger wall wart hasn't arrived from China yet, but here's what I did. I took the battery pack and it comes stock with just two wires. These two guys right here run into the circuit board. All I did was add a third wire for the balance, connected it to that little metal blob on the end. You gotta be careful because the plastic will melt as you solder that on, so you gotta be really quick. <clears throat> anyway, I connected it there and added a third connector here, which I just I uh, stole the connector along with the wire out of an old 2S balance lead I had kicking around. Uh, I don't have a crimper to attach the balance lead connector things, so that was easier for me. And then, I uh, apologize for the lighting, I uh, soldered. There's actually three wires here stock. They just don't connect to the main board here. So I soldered onto those and connected to one of those small eBay 2S balance boards. It's really simple. The uh, positive wire goes to B+. Plus. The negative wire from both batteries, so it'll be a uh, go to B-. minus. So across these two you'll have 8.4 volts at full charge. <clears throat> And the middle wire, which is what they call the balance wire, goes to the BM pad. <laughs> and then the two, they have P plus and P minus, and those connect to your barrel charging jack. I made center positive. You just gotta match whatever, you know, barrel charging wall wart you got, and then get a 8.4 volt wall wart, you know, uh, maybe I'd say minimum of one amp, maximum of two amps to be safe. And then I'm just going to install this. Uh, I've seen some people install it on the back plate on top of this little foot here, which would be nice because I'd still be able to set the radio down flat and the balance but that would also mean every time I take the radio apart I would have to disconnect that or keep this cover close by and I don't want to deal with that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole right over here and add this uh, panel mount barrel jack in there anyway it's really easy to do you decide you want to do that this is a really great radio I've really been enjoying it only downside is uh, no internal built-in multi modules so every time I want to switch from um, you know my XM plus receivers to the R9M system I gotta swap out the module but to be honest I haven't got much going on R9M at the moment so that hasn't been a problem yet and this circuit board is actually populated for well it's not populated it's uh, laid out for uh, internal multi-module setup it's just not populated so hoping someday someone with a uh, more skill and experience than me will show the way we can set that up for an internal module and that would be sweet you know maybe they'll sell a little kit to do it eventually or maybe jumper will just make a you know a mark ii model with the hall sensor gimbals and an internal radio system of maybe even a sentinel charging system and at that point to be honest it's a good chance i'll sell this one and get the upgraded model anyway great little radio hope you guys have a good time flying